It could really be a scene from any Hollywood blockbuster. Think Ocean's Eleven. Now, this abandoned house lies just across the street from the local bank. And even though there's a busy market outside, what no one realized was this is what was going on inside. This huge mound of earth is because a group of bank robbers were doing this, were digging this tunnel. Now, it's quite incredible. They had no fancy gadgets, just some shovels and pickaxes probably. And they dug this 100-foot tunnel to lead into the bank next door. Let's have a look, shall we? It's not very big. So this is how they must have done it. Crawled on their hands and feet, 100 feet across. That way, straight into the strong room of the bank. Now this is the other end of the tunnel. This hole which has now been sealed by the authorities and it leads into the bank's strong room. And you can see what they did. Broke open all these lockers. Some of them still have the locks on and made away with cash and valuables. Jewelry, gold, all of which had been kept here for safekeeping. Now ordinarily, this is the most secure part of the bank. The only way in is through here, through this door that's always locked. These are the bank's customers who are protesting outside, calling for action and visibly angry at the apparent ease with which this theft was both planned and executed. That's the bank over there. And right next to it is the building from which the tunnel was dug. A daring heist, so audacious that everyone in this nondescript town is talking about it and across the country as well.